Hi, this is Chris Cox with Boulder Insight. Today I'm going to start part one of a three-part series in how to build, uh, build donut charts. There are three um, basic ways you can build it depending on your data. Uh, if you have a single measure, you have multiple measures, and then we have a neat one that we call this donut pie. So starting with a single measure one, here are the list of steps that I'm going to go through. As you see, it only takes eight to build the chart six to do all the necessary formatting, and then six to bring it into your dashboard and make it, make it usable. So starting from a blank worksheet, uh, we need to choose a single dimension and also a single, single, single measure. Um, in this case, I know I'm looking at shipping tolerance, so I'm going to double click twice on my meets tolerance one uh, pill, and I'm going to turn one of those into um, some, some sort of a measure by using count. Okay, so, um, so measure green, uh, uh, dimension blue. Now I just click the Show Me button and choose Pi. So that gives me a pretty good start. Uh, now I click my size shelf and drag my slider to the larger uh, breakpoint that Tableau provides. And then now we need to make, uh, make a duplicate of this. The fastest way to do that, I think, is to double click your row shelf and to type in, to type in a calculation. I like to use minimum of one. Uh, this is going to, it's the same thing as create calculated field, and if I want to reuse this later, I can even drag it down to my, my measured self, and it's going to create that field for me. And we're going to go ahead and use it now, actually. So we're going to put two of these side by side. So what this has done for me is it's made two different graphs, but really what I'm going to leverage is my multiple actually marks cards. On your second marks card, we want to just eliminate all the things that are on here, which should just give us a gray circle at the bottom. Now, on the same marks card, we click the size shelf and just adjust a little bit smaller than our, our uh, top graph. Now we need to, to basically overlay the circle on top of our pie graph, which will start to give us that donut shape. And the way we do that is to right-click the second pill and choose dual axis. And we got a pretty good start now. It's always a good practice to right-click your right axis and to choose synchronized axis. So now we just start some formatting. So first thing I would do is right-click the left, left axis and unclick show header. Then we right-click the body and choose format. From here, we want to do several things. One, let's get rid of all the lines by choosing format borders. And we want to get rid of the grand total, the row divider, and the column divider. We also want to go to our format lines. And we want to, on our sheet, we want to make sure our grid lines and our zero lines are both set to none, as, as uh, well as for, for rows. That should remove all the lines that come into this chart. And lastly, we want to format the background. If the, since we know this is going on to a darker worksheet, um, we're going to choose a color that we already have. Um, I can show you where I get this color from in a second. Um, but we know it's this, this color here. And then the last thing we want to do is on this marks card, the bottom marks card, we want to adjust the color from the gray it's set to, to the same color as our uh, background. And that's it. So now it's time to bring it into our Tableau template. Um, Tableau templates are set up so that you have containers in every location that you need them. So you can simply drag and drop uh, the, the views without having to do, do a lot of placement. Then I unhide the or hide the title and everything snaps into place. Um, and then also have a container set for my donut hole of the number that I want to put in there and unhide or hide the title and then double click to change the whole, whole description and that should do it. Like I said, over here on the right we have a style guide that will give us all the colors we're using. So the graph area is 232323. Two, three, two, three. So I had that already saved. Uh, but the style guide gives you um, kind of the colors we're using to make it stand out. So that's our dashboard working. Uh, now everything should work as expected. All of our filters and everything else is in place. Um, stay tuned for the second part of this series, and happy tabloing.